Hey Capricorn! So welcome or welcome back to Tip Talks 22. Guys, so we are here. We're going to take a look at 2024. Okay, I see my lights doing something. We're going to take a look at 2024 and then my friend keeps messaging me. Lordy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's reflective of what your 2024 is going to be like, just all over the place. I definitely see a card that is the two of coins uh, in reverse. So you may have some trouble like juggling everything that you need to juggle or to get done. That makes so much sense right now as I'm in your energy. Um, but yeah, we're just going to take a look at 2024, what Spirit wants to bring your attention to, what's coming up for you. And it's so wild. <clears throat> Because I feel like a lot of your year is likely going to revolve around love, relationships, and healing matters of the heart. I know. So if that ain't what you wanting, then you ain't going to hear this reading because <laughs> it is all, not all about it, but it's a lot about that. Um, this is going to be for sun, moon, or rising Capricorns. Um, they did say not Venus. So <laughs> Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon or rising. This is your reading for 2024. Let's get into it. I know. I know. Right. It looks like a lot of cards. Um, but you'll see it'll flow. It ain't, it ain't as many as it seems. That's for sure. So these, cause these are all Oracle cards, but let's talk about it because the first card out is the fourth chakra. And the fourth chakra is the heart chakra, Archangel Raphael. And the reason why I feel like blue seeds, this is connected to healing, is because Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, right? Like when I have a, a physical wound or emotional wound that I feel like I can't get to the bottom of, definitely call on that angel for divine intervention and assistance. So see, yeah, oh my goodness. We have the Lover's card here with the Eight of Swords. So this could be a choice and the Nine of, Nine of Swords as we clarify. So this is a choice that's, that you guys may be making or needing to make here. But I feel like there's like some stress around it or involved in this relationship or the choice that you're making here. So there's definitely going to be a need to... For some of you, kind of go within and maybe not even ask like a lot of other people's opinions or for other people's input so that you can see what it is that you need to see. What is your inner voice telling you to do? That's going to be super important for you guys in 2024. Uh, for some of you, this could lead to, um, yeah, something that feels like home. This could be a comfort zone or this could be an actual home of a life that you've built with someone i feel like there's going to be a little bit of stress there i don't want to say this is an ending well spirit says say it um and it's it's some type of hesitation here that you have around this we got that four of wands energy some type of hesitation that you have around it with the um knight of pentacles here and it could be something that has been stable but it's been like either challenging or hard work here could be dealing with a Libra, or this could be like um, justice or balance being restored. It also could be the energy of divorce, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And I feel like that's what it is. So, this Queen of Wands energy could be someone who's in a fiery energy. Um, maybe presenting an offer or someone trying to, like, make peace with the situation. But with that five of coins, you may well be closing a door on this situation that may have seemed stable at some point. But I feel like whoever it is that I'm speaking to today, Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorns, um, you may be realizing that, yeah, we are not the same. We are not aligned. It could be someone is growing and someone else is not. Um, there is some deception here as well. So l let's keep going. We also have here the garden and the gate. Okay. And this card, you see this person has the key around her neck here. Um, and this card definitely tells of growth. It's about it's a three, which is all about creation, what you're trying to create, what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to build towards. And it's like you have the key to create that energy, but she has to be willing 
to use the key in order to step out of her comfort zone. She's comfortable in her pretty gate, right? In her pretty garden, trapped in the gate. But that's just it. It's a feeling of being trapped. So this is about you having the ability and the courage to really fight for what it is that you truly want and desire here. Make these plans. This two of one, some of you may be relocating, like I said, or moving into a different home and really just making plans to try to figure out, okay, how do I want to play this? How do I want to move with the hangman energy? I feel like you, yeah, whoever it is that I'm speaking to, yeah, yeah, it's like something kind of had has stalled out, um, but that happened so that you could see clearly what it is you needed to do. I don't feel like this is something you're hastily moving into. So this could be something that you've thought about for a while because you got the hangman. So so spirit is like put a pause on something so that somebody could do some reflecting um, so that they could see clearly whatever action that they needed to take that was going to bring them happiness and bring them fulfillment with that uh, king of cups energy. Clarify this king, please. Yeah, I feel like you this time, the time span that's going between like realizing that this is something that needs to be addressed and taking the action was so that you could build up the courage and the confidence to move past this hesitation so that you could really reflect also and, and create a plan, strategize, so to speak. Yeah, I feel, oh my goodness, my goose is going crazy too. I feel like for whoever this is that I'm talking to, it feels like in order to be successful or to move into a successful partnership or to move into a space that feels more aligned for you here, yeah, you're going to have to make a challenging or tough decision. And it's not because we got the same three cards that we got initially and that four of cups. It's not something that you're happy about doing. But you may feel either held back or stifled in a way. And I feel, but I feel like it, it feels like I have no choice. I have no option. This person, this could be someone that you thought you were the same as, or you thought you guys were equally aligned, right? This With this Two of Cups energy here. But after further study and research and contemplation here, you are realizing it's time to close the door on this person. We also have here, yeah, we have the thinking woman and the broken broken heart. Okay, so the thinking woman gives me earth energy. Doesn't have to be. It could also be air energy. Um, who is air? Gemini, uh, Libra and Aquarius. But definitely, I feel like that aligns with the energy. <laughs> what I say when I'm saying what I'm saying. That Queen of Swords energy. Uh, and the Queen of Swords is someone who has gone through so many challenges, right? But also, she's stronger because of it. Her intuition is clearer. This is someone who is like bound to truth, right? This is someone who speaks their truth and who feels like this strong need to do that and to live authentically. It may take her some time because of these, well, probably not. I was going to say may take her some time to get to this point, but that's just because of the things that she's been through. But listen, this, this queen of swords, she has like this, um, tough exterior that's developed, right? Where she can see through facades, um, and yeah, and is willing to use this sword. It's like this hurts me, and it may hurt you, but I also see truthfully that this is what's necessary. So that is who she is. So um, yeah, <laughs> and I feel like somebody here is feeling like yeah, I'm done wasting time on this. I'm done with any arguments, any toxic situations here. And yeah, I'm about to make this choice. I'm about to drop the hammer. That's what it feels like. Okay. For some of you. <clears throat> hold on a second. This is a, a wife. Empress energy. 
or this could be a mother figure even. But it's going to make somebody angry. Whoever this is on the other side of this energy is not going to be happy about it. But I feel like this is you, Capricorn, detaching from that energy for the sake of your peace, for your clear and, and clear and adjusted and truthful mindset here. You guys are making that choice. It's like I see clearly now that the only way for me to be at peace is for me to detach and move away from this situation here. Okay? It's so crazy because I was just thinking about a friant, um, and she's crossed my mind for the past couple days. And so I had to check in on her just to check in on her because when I think about people, it's usually that they're dealing with something, right? And one, something that she said to me where I was like, whoa, that will preach. Um, and this is what that looks like. She said, I, I feel like my household is a blockage to my success. Woo! You know how self-aware, goosies, you know how self-aware you have to be to come to that kind of conclusion about your comfort zone, your home, where you've been or have felt safe. I just saw one, 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 five on the clock. Ones are all about new beginnings. Fives are, of course, conflict, but also change, right? We also have here the Queen of Pentacles. There's a Queen, Queen of Pentacles is abundance. It's stability. It can also be someone who's materialistic or... Um, money focused right so yeah th whoever this is this could be someone that you have financial ties to but something about them or their ways you are seeing is toxic it could be a codependent partnership here like this could definitely be a marriage Taurus energy showing up capricorn here you are um you're detaching from this commitment this could be someone that you have children with that you have or known since you were you were a kid But you're, you're, I feel like you're detaching from that. Yeah, for this new start, this new beginning here. Okay. It's like we are not the same. We are not the same. And I'm, I'm open to exploring new opportunities here. What's this A spirit? For some of you, this could be a... Um, in addition to the relationship, because this is definitely about a relationship. Because before y'all's reading started, I was like, dang, is it all about love? You know, <laughs> Spirit was like, yeah, mostly, right? <laughs> but um, for some of you, this could be a job or a position here. Yeah, that you're moving towards. That's going to feel just more stable for you. It's going to be more emotionally fulfilling and aligned with what excites you, what makes you happy. Um, this could be also additional sources of income if this is the case. For some of you, you guys are moving like across the city, across the state, maybe even across the water here. Y like it's, we, we're just going to take this leap of faith here and make it do what it do. Okay. Where you have been goosies, maybe where you've been intimidated or kind of paranoid or just guarded in your energy, like maybe concerned about how you're going to do what you're going to do. Skirt closing the door on that feeling and taking this leap of faith here and so um yeah it's really good to see that fool card energy showing up i wanted to make sure i saw what i saw because <laughs> that fool card is definitely like a uh you know that phrase if you build it they will come it's the energy of if you take the leap of faith the universe will catch you like the universe has your back because you were brave enough and courageous enough to follow and trust divine guidance and make this move. You also have here the appreciation card. I love, love, love this card. A couple things. If it's connected to this past person, well, soon to be past person or relationship here, this is like a thanks for the memories card, right? Um, this is, you see how all the, the vegetation, it just looks kind of burnt out, dead, and played but here we have this one rose that she is more focused on. And also behind her, we have this beautiful blooming, blooming bush here that she has not yet seen, right? So this is like a thanks for the memories, even though uh, this, is, this is like a looking for the silver lining. Even though what we had growing was not successful, 
I learned something and I'm grateful for what was. I'm grateful for the experience and I can be excited about moving forward. Also, with the goose sees because we see something growing behind behind her, right? Yeah. So this is somebody who doesn't want to hurt. Uh, I just heard, I don't want to hurt him Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look, it's like, it's been overwhelming. The heartbreak, the sadness here, the grief has been overwhelming. Um, but somebody is taking their power back from that. And that even though that's been challenging, it's going to allow you, goose is going nuts. It's going to allow you to kind of reconfigure what is it that I need to focus on? What is it that is important to me? What is it that is my destiny? What is it that's exciting for me? What is it that's going to bring me the most fulfillment? So you get clarity on that. So even though this is a rough separation or a rough ending, it's like for the good, for the good. Um, we also have here, Goose is going nuts. We also have here the card action. So listen, action this uh, number 17 suggests that spirit has either implant goose he's on fire uh, spirit has kind of planted this seed within you yeah and it's something that you've been thinking of for a while you may have been sitting on it for a while you've been keeping it to yourself with that Virgo energy the hermit here um, thinking about hmm I would be happy if, what is my wish fulfillment? I feel like this is something that Spirit is bringing to you. But with the action card, it says, okay, Spirit's done the work because we implanted this fire. We we put, we put we planted this seed within you. You see it, you feel it, you've received it. Now it's time for you to catch up with Spirit and do your part. Take this action here and explore this new part of your journey. For some of you, this is going to be... Um, implementing new new like uh, lessons right I was talking to a friend last night and um, we were saying I was telling her I feel like people feel like healing is just allowing yourself to cry and saying okay I'm better and moving on no you have to have an opportunity to replace certain thoughts re replace certain patterns what drew you to those things and then you have to have an opportunity to apply those newly learned lessons and new new experiences, right? It's like you have the desire, you have the idea. Now it's time to enact, right? And so that's where you guys will be in 2024. Listen, Six of Swords, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. This is you moving forward. It's going to be more peace where you're going. It's definitely the bridge uh, over troubled waters, okay, that you're moving out of, and I feel like this is divinely inspired growth and progress for you here. Um, but yeah, I feel like it with the anxiety here, this is aligning, this is just aligning anxiety. You see, this is someone who's worried about something, who's overthinking. I definitely feel like this is not something for you to be to overthink. You see this person here, she's going through this storm. And but here we have the sun coming in. The sun is clarity, the sun is happiness, the sun is fulfillment coming in after this storm. So no doubt that this has been challenging. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional challenge with that Queen of Cups energy, but know that this storm is passing. I don't know, can y'all even see? There's even like a lightning bolt there. Lightning can definitely be aha moments or something that you didn't necessarily see or expect to unfold the way that it did or for it maybe to have the impact on you that it did. But yeah, I feel like that's... Listen, after the tower comes the star. The star is healing. The star is success. The star is growth. And this is optimism where you guys may have felt like okay what will i do in the future here no you're gonna get out of that energy i don't feel like that's something you're gonna be in for very long and some people may be envious or jealous of your ability to move on or your ability to kind of uh take your power back from this situation your ability to not have your have um not allow this situation to control how you move 
Oh, them haters don't like that. They is not going to be happy about it, right? It could be some jealous energy being sent your way for sure. But I feel like the relationship, either the relationship that matters. This is some of you guys moving into a new role, either as a leader or it's like. Okay, I thought I heard something. I did hear something, but it's no big deal. Um, in, a leader in taking action. Also, this is some, you guys are someone who is going to be like your leadership qualities is going to be observed by someone, right? It's kind of like leading by example here. And and that's a really good and positive thing. However, somebody's not going to like it, okay? It may mean that you start to team up or corroborate. Corroborate. Is that what I meant? No. Collaborate with um, a new friend group, a new company, um, or creating a new family dynamic here, Okay. So people are going to see that and it's going to be justice. It's going to be balanced for you here. But yeah, somebody is going to think that is not fair. That Queen of Wands showing back up here. Yeah. And they may, they may, um, yeah, because this feels devastating to them. And this could also involve children because we got the Six of Cups showing up with the Justice card and the Page of Cups here. What's this Tower Spirit connected to? This Justice. Yeah, someone's feeling this Empress energy, this mother figure, she's feeling defeated here. And definitely confused, but I feel like you're taking the power away from that energy of confusion. This could be someone who's trying to create that confusion. Uh, whoever, if this is a, a family like partnership or dynamic here, which I feel like it is because of this woman holding a heart, Queen of Cups energy here. Um, this is somebody who is not going to be happy with the new dynamic. That Ten of Cups can often be someone like getting along amicably, like creating a friendship with a with an ex or co-parenting, right? Because it's blended family kind of energy here. Child. So I feel like that's going to be a little bit, create a little bit of turbulence for you guys, Capricorn, in the new year. You also have here the Deceit card, okay? Seven of Swords. So somebody's a liar, all right? And it could well be connected to this Queen of Cups. So let's see what that's about. With the Deceit card, there is always toxic energy. Uh, it is always toxic energy. It's either someone around you who is lying to you directly. Um, that like they're not they're not presenting themselves who who they're presenting themselves as is not who they truly are. Hold on. Gotta stay hydrated. Let's talk about this seat. Yeah. So this is somebody who putting on for the cameras, basically. <laughs> right? <clears throat> so because of your... Yeah. But they're just saying or doing whatever they need to say or do to keep this change from happening. To keep someone from walking away. To make someone hesitate. Right? Because it's like... I don't want to be friends or I don't want this person to have this new fulfillment or this new happiness without me. <clears throat> so this is someone who is going to say or do whatever to keep that from happening. So they may be presenting this off or putting on this show and it's going to temporarily perhaps cause some confusion. Spirit is warning you now to not ignore red flags in this situation. Okay. This is not somebody who wants the best for you. This is somebody who likely just wants to win by any means necessary. So that they can come out like victorious. This feels like somebody who... Okay. Definitely somebody who thinks they are clever. 
okay? But they are tripping about losing their power over this, over you or over this situation. Somebody is definitely feeling either, uh, either uh, feeling alone in this energy. Because with this ten of coins, this family dynamic here, they're realizing the truth that this is over. So I feel like <clears throat> this is over. Um, and it may be something that they've been worried about for some time or anxious about. They may even try to convince you that what you see ain't what you see. Or, oh, you, yeah. But, but that, like I said, honey. This, this could this could definitely be somebody who just wants to win, who's angry about your new beginning, your new start here, your new home, your new financial stability. And that whoever this is too, King of Pentacles, they do not want you, they do not want this person that they had financial ties to and some sort of control over here to be happy, to relocate, to have this new start. They may feel like either they're losing, um... They're losing, they're losing money, or they're losing access, but their stability has changed as a result of uh, Capricorn moving into this newfound freedom. So, yeah, that resonates, I gotta tell you, um, for me. <laughs> and it ain't a romantic partnership. So even if, guys, even if this is not um, romance for you, this could just be someone that you have some sort of emotional tie to. So it could be a family tie, um, a close friendship, right? Which it doesn't feel like a friendship. This feels like a relative of some sort. All right. But also know that with this temple path card here, your ancestors, your guardian angels, your guides, God's source are orchestrating all of these changes for you so that you can create or manifest the stability that you desire, the security emotional, physical security that you desire here with this first chakra, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, um, the first chakra is the root chakra. So that is everything that I just said. It is your stability, your financial stability, uh, financial abundance. It is feeling safe where you are. This is mental security, emotional security, right? So if you're in a situation, a connection, or a relationship where all of these things are not cohesive, right? Spirit is help. Goo sees. Spirit is helping you to get out of this situation, to restore this balance. And I feel like for you, some of you, it's going to free you up to move into a new connection. We have caring connections and door to romance, all right? Just know that there's a, an energy of divine orchestration here regarding whatever this is that's, that you guys have been trying to manifest, right? So, daughter romance is almost always a new partnership coming in. And it could just be new emotional balance coming in. Right? Listen. This could be something that spirit knew. <laughs> you, either you would resist or you wouldn't, you... We're in a situation that, that divine timing played a role. Okay, what's this temperance? Whoever it is that I'm speaking to, I feel like you have, have been or are unhappy here. And it may be because you are looking at the past where you don't see. Spirit is trying to fulfill a wish for you. Okay, but it's like other things had to be in certain order. This reminds me of, um, yeah... In order, yeah, there are certain boundaries that had to be created. Yeah, and I feel like that is emotional boundaries and physical boundaries, right? In order for you to move on, in order for you to have new experiences, in order for us to allow this blessing. This is what I was about to say anyway. I just saw 2922 on the clock. In order for you to have these blessings, um... Or this situation to come in that we have created or that's, that you were actually destined for. 
we knew we had to cut you off from this situation. We got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands can really be a new home. The Knight of Wands is definitely future opportunities and experiences. It can also be a person here. But there were some boundaries that needed to be set into place. Um, some processing here of feelings. Even though you may be sad about what it is that you've lost, stay optimistic here because there are cups to be filled behind you and you're going to see your ships coming in. And keep in mind, we're still um, clarifying this temperance card, this energy of divine orchestration and divine timing, right? So this is what spirit is trying to prepare for you. So with the seven of wands here... Don't fight what is happening. <laughs> Don't fight it. Don't resist it. As a matter of fact, fight for you, right? So there may be a need to either negotiate or really just to speak up on your own behalf in order to defend yourself, your choices here. And yeah. And to resist either temptation or other toxic energy. Allow like things that would draw you in to kind of create conflict. Like I said, because somebody, somebody just wants to win. They want to win. They want you upset. They trying to, to steal your joy, basically. Know that that's the motive. And see these people coming. And definitely be willing to send love and light to them, but also to disengage, right? Like, what, 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 Ply say? You want to argue. I ain't going to argue with you. <laughs> you mad. <laughs> yeah, keep it light with them, because that is exactly how they feel it, baby. Ain't nobody doing that. Okay, so whatever this conflict is, though, with the strength card, Leo energy, you guys have the courage and the bravery here to stick it out, to really fight for what it is that you desire, even if it's a little stressful, right? And you may, you may feel like, okay, maybe I'm not supposed to. Yes, the freak you are. Spirit says stick it out because I feel like the divine is definitely on your side in this one and it's really really orchestrating this to give you to move you towards this peace to move you towards like really trusting your own actions your own intuition and take it having the courage and the bravery to take action accordingly okay even if somebody else other people don't like it all right yeah, some of you have been concerned about, you know, this response or maybe even about being able to do something on your own. Yeah, definitely some fear here, either of being alone or of doing this on your own. Yeah, Spirit is giving you the courage that you need to let go of or to, de to detach from any of those fears that have been keeping you stuck or stagnant here. For some of you, this um, may be fear of moving on into a new relationship, but I feel like you're going to have the clarity you need where those insecurities will be highlighted for you. And there's going to be a need for you to not only show yourself compassion, but show... Uh, Show this person compassion. But let me tell you something. And I'm saying that. Listen. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying that because you guys got this kindness card over here from the spirit deck. And that card is about living with compassion, right? It's like, um, you know, not kicking somebody when they're down, right? Like being like, <laughs> I won, like celebrating your win so much so where it's like running, uh, rubbing it in their face. It's not, it's like stay in that kind and compassionate energy. However, don't be so concerned about being kind to them that you put that over being kind to you. Does that make sense? 
I just saw three, four, four, three on the plot, right? So, and what it looks like here, because whoever it is I'm talking to, Capricorn, you tend to be the type of person who obligates yourself to take care of everybody else. Truth from experience. This is my moon sign. Uh, and my goosebumps is screaming right now. You tend to be the type of person who obligates yourself to take care of other people. Spirit said, that's a lie. Don't do it. Okay? Don't allow your emotion to keep you in that energy where you feel like, oh, I need to take care of this person. Nope. We are all responsible for our own growth, our own healing here. I feel like this is, Goose is going crazy. So you are, Goosey's, Goosey's, Goosey's. You are not responsible for the lessons this person ain't figuring out because they not doing the work because they not paying attention because they not looking back at their patterns and working through their shit like it is not on you okay so don't feel conflicted about that or feel the need to defend your choices your actions this is just think of it like this if somebody has been so used to for an extended period of time so used to someone already doing something, especially when they get to a point where where they may take that take it for granted. I assure you, when you change the way you move, and if you're the person who's doing the taking care of, when you change that, oh, that's gonna be tough for that person. It's gonna be difficult. It might make them angry. It's going to make them sad. It's going to be some stages of grief that come with that. All right. Um, I saw a post yesterday that was saying um, people always talk about setting boundaries, but nobody talks about the, the feelings that come with implementing said boundaries, like the feelings of loss or grief. And I feel like that's not true. People talk about it, but you know, you hear what you want to hear when you need to hear it. Uh, <laughs> I know I damn sure have talked about it on this channel. Y'all scroll back and stuff. Anyway, um, but the thing is, it's definitely, there are feelings of sadness, feelings of loss, right? When you are in a friendship or a long-term connection, break up. Even if it wasn't romantic, it's like that feels like a loss. You feel like you are suffering a death because something that was so familiar to you that you have been a part of or in for an extended period of time has changed so significantly. Yeah, I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit, and I saw my lights doing that. Anyway, it has changed so significantly where it's like that feels like death, like devastating. But the thing is, well, I feel like it's going to be hard for you guys, Capricorn, emotionally. It don't look like it's going to be that hard. I feel like you're going to go in and out of your phases in that regard, okay? Let's take a look at what's happening from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Uh Oracle Dick. Listen. So here we have love. This is similar to the lover's card in this particular deck. This is an Oracle deck. We also have that two of coins energy in reverse. Find balance in reverse. When it is it, and I asked Spirit too, they said, yep, it's supposed to be reversed. Because um, I thought that was kind of odd. But I asked Spirit, and, and that's what it was. Uh, but when it is that two of coins in reverse, this could be, this is, not could be, it is something in your life that's out of whack. It could be you not having time to manage everything on top of a love relationship, or it could be you trying to keep everything afloat. Right? Give the proper attention to everything that you need to give proper attention to. This is also, I feel, after you've made a decision or a choice. Damn. Y'all heard that? Jeez, somebody just moved or is moving. Anyway, after you've made a decision or a choice here for most of you to end the cycle. To break a cycle here. Right? Because you got the lovers with the nine of coins to the wheel of fortune. And a judgment card. So this may be something that you feel with the with this family. Yeah. And the ten of coins and the hermit. So this is something that you've maybe decided in silence. This is something that um, may go against what your family would 
think or expect or of you. Definitely someone that you are having, you have some type of financial tie to. So you you could also be kind of making sure that your your money is doing what it's supposed to do here as you make this move, right? Really, really, really debating what's worth it, right? What is it that I need to keep? What is it that I need to let go of? What is it that needs my attention? What is it that needs to be starved of my attention, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like you're not going to be in this period of evaluation for too damn long at all, okay? I feel like any hesitation, yeah, that, listen, any hesitation that you've been experiencing regarding that, this is forward movement. You got the chariot, which could indicate travel, because you also have the eight of wands here, the, the, and the six of swords. Those are three cards about movement, and the knight of swords with the ten of cups here. Three cards about movement, about progress, uh, maybe even travel right so yeah whatever this is that has been in balance balance is being restored here you guys also have the two of cups with the crown chakra the crown chakra governs how we receive um our divine information information from the divine from the most most high it is our spirit connection here we also have like i said that two of cups energy coming together Let's talk about that Two of Cups first. Hold on. Sorry. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. So, typically when I see this card... It reminds me of a card that's in this deck called Simply Love. So this is definitely about making new decisions in matters of the heart. Who's this to, Spirit? And I feel like this decision... Yeah, this is somebody really coming to terms with the fact that they've been unhappy in a situation here. Yeah, and really having the courage to move through this, like, tough phase in this partnership or relationship. Um, whoever it is that I'm speaking to, I feel like you're going to open yourself up to the idea of either a new connection, a new relationship, or new soul tribe, or new partnership, new friendships, whatever the case, right? But you're allowing those decisions to be divinely inspired, right? Divinely led. It's like... The universe gonna be screaming so loud. You can't. You can't. Thank you. I was about to say that. You can. You cannot ignore it. You cannot not see this information that you're getting. Okay. You can't ignore it. You're gonna be able to clearly see. It is time to move forward here and put some boundaries in place. Yeah. So even where you've been feeling. Like this sense of conflict. I feel like there's going to be a sense of divine accompaniment here. Where you just know. Yeah, you guys are learning for sure. Where you just know this is what you're being guided to do. Absolutely. This is what you're being guided to do. For the sake of you. How you love yourself. How you honor yourself. That ace of cups for some of you. This is definitely going to lead to new relationship. A new relationship. Or new partnership. Definitely going to lead to heightened self-awareness here. Definitely going to lead to you saying, you know what? It's super important that I surround myself with people that I know and feel and prove that they love and support me here. Some of you, this is going to be divine support. For some of you, this is friend groups here. But there's definitely an energy of celebration connected to that. Yeah. Because we got, we got the devil card here, Capricorn Energy Master. Um, and that master is an energy of mastering your emotions. You see the heart here is highlighted. Mastering your emotions is all about personal and self-empowerment here. 
this three of cups with the share the love this is uh which we just saw that's the card we just saw in traditional tarot but you see at the at the heart of it there's the heart with the crack down the middle this is healing this is healing it's going to be healing for you to surround yourself with friendships or family like i said that you feel loved and supported by yeah, this is not for you to step away from this commitment and then to just be alone all the time. No, no, no. That's not what's happening. <laughs> That's not what's happening. Okay. So don't don't feel guilty for choosing to enjoy yourself, to enjoy your life, or for moving on at all. Okay, don't. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be surrounded by friends, by connections, by uh, new experiences here that are going to bring you more fulfillment. But also with this Six of Cups energy that are going to bring you more peace, more harmony, more growth, and healing energy here. Okay, that's Six of, six of Swords, I'm sorry. What I'm saying, it's going to bring, bring this healing into your life. This healing as you move into the next chapter. For some of you, this is like healing an inner child wound. For some of you, this is healing something that has needed to be addressed for an extended period of time. Like a long time. Something that you have wrestled with maybe from childhood. Yeah, this is definitely heightened sense of self-awareness. Maybe even heightened intuition for some of you. Okay? But it's going to lead to success with that Six of Wands. Success and growth. Something else, too, that I often feel about the Six of Wands. Everybody not going to support you. Everybody not going to support these choices and these decisions. Because you see on this card, all these people not even looking at her. They acknowledging her. She's on parade. She's got the victory. This is the victory lap. But they ain't looking at her. So that's like some people around you are not gonna not gonna be excited about your growth. But guess what? Spirit wants you to stand in this dragon ass power anyway with the magician card. <laughs> and trust that even if you feel alone, you are not alone. You are divinely supported here. And what is best for you is coming in quickly here. So trust your intuition. Goosies. Trust the universe and stay faithful in the decisions that you make. All right. Um, last but not least, let me show you these two cards. We don't even have to dig into it because I feel like they're just aligned. Like I said, you have the kindness card here and you also have this power card. Kindness says live with compassion. Open your heart to all life forms. Be an angel with hands. So when I ask spirit about this particular card, because usually when I see it, right, it's like, you know, not pouring salt in other people's wounds, but also so being handle being compassionate as far as how you interact with other people, but also showing yourself the same kindness where you don't make yourself feel bad for not feeling bad for somebody else. You, you get what I'm saying? And then the next card is power. Power card is about summoning your inner dragon now what spirit told me about this when it says call upon the elements focus your intentions the greatest dragon is within you this card is all about personal power some of you guys gooses 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 some of you guys get a lot of advice you may, you may get tarot readings you could just ask a lot of friends for input and spirit is like nope 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 gooses this is about you deciding what you should do what's going to be best for you um and what is fair for you, what honors you, and having the courage and the power to do those things regardless of what other people say. So the other people could be family, could be friends, um, could be like anybody else. Spirit is wanting you to trust your voice, your connection to the divine with that crown chakra energy. I feel like some of y'all's intuition is strengthening because we saw that Queen of Swords several times. Is strengthening over this next year and you are going to learn to implement this energy where you are confident enough to apply and trust your own intuition, your own inner voice, your divine self, right? Whew. 
So, that's what Spirit wanted to bring to your attention about your 2024 Capricorn. I do hope this was helpful. Please don't be intimidated by anything that you've heard here. Stay open to allowing the, the story to unfold and trusting your inner voice. All right? Um, yeah. Bye-bye.